Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Shall we stand as we enter into a spirit of worship on this beautiful Sunday morning? We have come into this house and gathered in his name to worship him. Gathered in his name to worship. We have come to this house, gathering his name to worship. Come on, say it. We have come. Yes, gathered. To worship our Lord, oh, word. thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Say it one more time. We've come into this house. I don't know about you, but my week has come. come. Glory. Lots going on. Gather in his name to worship him. Take this time to deep breathe. Is that why you've come this morning? Come on, sister. Release we the anxiety have come. the pressures of the week. Come on, sister. To worship Come on, say it like you mean it. We have come. Come on. Gather all to worship Christ. Oh, 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 yeah, Christ. Oh. Come on. So forget about yourself this morning. So forget. Concentrate on him. And worship him. <laughs> Say from his spirit. So forget about yourself this morning. So forget. Concentrate on him. And worship him. Bless your name, God. So forget about yourself. Come on. So forget. Concentrate on Him. And worship and worship and worship and worship. Hallelujah. Oh, worship Him. Christ, come on, Christ. Let us lift up holy hands. Let magnify his name and worship. 
Isso é mesmo. Yes, lift up holy hands this morning. Aleluia. Magnify his name. And worship him. Worship him. Christ. Hallelujah. Our Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, say. Somebody say it. Worship him. Hallelujah. Christ. Anybody know he's worthy to be praised? He's worthy of the glory. He's worthy. Worship him this morning. Worship. Praise the Lord. Praise. We honor you today, God. We thank you from the rising of the we sun. Thank you for being the sun of the sun. His name is worthy to be praised. Thank you. Come on and worship him. to worship all of us on this screen. I was glad when they said it to me. Let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. For a day in thy courts is better than a thousand. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek thy good. Those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. Blessed are they that dwell in thy house. Lord, I have loved thy habitation, the place where thy honor dwelleth. For the Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. O oh, sing it to the Lord a new song, for he, he has done marvelous things. things. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all, all the earth, and sing praises. praises. And that joyful noise unto the Lord, we will continue with Brother Wilson. And so Amen. On. You may be seated as Brother Wilson comes to lead us in praise. Good morning, Holy Trinity. Good morning. What a beautiful day God has given us. Amen. I would like for you to participate in this here. Close your eyes. Meditate. And remember, God will walk with us. We, his people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. 
for sharing your talent with us. We all want God to continue to walk with us. Our prayer, if you bow your heads and assume the position for prayer. God of our weary years, God of our silent tears, thou who has brought us thus far on the way, thou who has by thy might let us into the light. Keep us forever in the path, we pray. God of compassion and of understanding, we come pulling on your hymn of protection. Give us a Daniel faith while in the lion's den. Give us the hope of Moses as he wandered in the wilderness. Give us a heart like David of mercy and grace. God, you are Jairah. You are enough. Amen. All I have needed Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Summer and winter, springtime and harvest, sun, moon, and stars in their courses above. Join with all nature and magnificent women 
to thy great faithfulness, mercy and love. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness, morning by morning, new mercies I see. There will be a Wilberforce Day on Saturday, August the 19th, from 12 to 5 p.m., and that will be held at the Community Center. Also, the Wilberforce University Church Fair will be held August 23rd from 11 to 2. Uh, they do need people at the table. This will be held at the Wilberforce University. Pastor, you have additional announcements? Yeah. Good morning. Thank you all for continuing on last week um, with uh, Reverend Dr. Carrie Williams as our preacher. I'm glad that we had um, all of you in the house and his word was good, so thank you. Um, the Wilberforce University Church Fair, that is our opportunity to introduce ourselves to the students at Wilberforce University. So I've reserved for us a table where we will be able to put out some snacks and goodies and say hello and meet students. So if you are available during any of that time frame, if you can even just do a shift during that time, I welcome you to join me at that table. Um, Mr. Washington is back in the hospital. Um, so I spent um, time with them on Friday um, when they were in the ER, stayed with them until they got their room assignment, and then um, was able to see them again yesterday after work. Um, he is, they, they found the issue, and he's being treated, and he looked a lot better yesterday evening than he did when he first went in. So I'm grateful that um, his daughter Janine was there, that she knew that he needed to go to the hospital and um, that they got him treatment quickly. So let's continue to keep the Washingtons in our prayers. Um, they are definitely going through a difficult time and some of you know about that journey. And so as, um, as those thoughts come up in your heart, sometimes when um, we hear about situations, particularly when they are close to us, it reminds us of the struggles that we had when that was our life place. And that heaviness can resurge and you can begin to feel those feelings of grief again. And, um, 
And know that as I pray for the Washingtons, that I'm also praying for you. And it is okay to name those feelings and those anxieties that as they rise and cast them again unto the Lord, for God continues to care about you. Having those feelings of grief and sorrow research does not mean that you lack faith or that your relationship with God is compromised in any way. It means that you are human, that you are a spiritual being in this natural world, that you have feelings that are real and necessary for us to survive in a world of relationships. So um, continue to pray for them, continue to pray for each other. What affects one affects us all. Let's take a moment to greet each other this morning. It's nice to see Sister Carmen with us today. I'm happy to have you in worship with us. We have a brief meeting um, following worship service, a call meeting of the official board. We just need to officially elect our delegates. I thought we had done that. Cannot find it in our notes. So we will officially do that. It should just take about five minutes. And following that meeting, um, the Dolores Austin Foundation Committee will meet um, to look at our job descriptions and the application and how we'll move forward. So, um, and that meeting will also be brief as I have to be in Columbus um, for St. Paul's 200th anniversary uh, service this afternoon. All right, so let's take a moment and greet each other and, yeah, and your offerings. That's the other thing. Offering is on the um, altar and you can bring your offerings. Come on, put your hands together. Come on. Oh, yeah.
Please stand for the responsive reading. Psalms 23, verse 4. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. But Jesus was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God for the enduring word. Amen. You may be seated. Job told the Lord, though you slain, Yet will I trust you. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego will tell you that he can turn a fiery furnace into an air-conditioned room. Trust in the Lord. Daniel will tell you that he can lock the jaws of angry lions and turn them into purring kittens. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not to thy own understanding. And he will direct Trust in the love. Somebody say yeah! Oh, y'all ought to hit me tonight. Say yeah! Has the Lord been good to you? Have he done anything for you? If he's done anything for you, just hit me. Say yeah! Say yeah! Trust in the 
This morning, we will have a special presentation from the Women's Missionary Society. Um, Mrs. Ski is going to present for us an, an uh, embodiment of Hallie Quinn Brown. I thought about saying, I think my first thing to say was that this presentation is going to be in lieu of the sermon. And then when I thought about it more, it's not really in lieu of the sermon. It's really a different type of sermon. It is a dramatic presentation of God's word, of a woman who trusted God, who was rooted in faith, actually a member of the AME Church, who was likely a member of this congregation during her time at Wilberforce University from where she graduated. Rakia, can you switch to the next slide? She was a profound speaker. She spoke at the AME General Conference in 1889. And in 1900, she represented the missionaries at the World Missionary Conference in Scotland. And she was the very first woman elected Secretary of Education for the AME Church. Our roots go deep. Part of our tradition is celebrating God's presence and God's activity and how God shows up in the lives of God's people. And so today we will hear how God showed up in the person of Hallie Quinn Brown.
Stephen did. The door was closed. We stayed out. But one day, my father managed to get a really good job in Pittsburgh. That job was working with prisoners for 40 years in the past. He did raise enough money to have a slight contribution. And he
other people were running toward the house because it was in the daytime and when we got there, the house was in flames. The house was in flames. And I was in
he got on his knees and he was waiting for communion. He left the black people in the balcony up there, but yet he knelt down. And the pastor told him, get out of there. Get out of here. Don't you know he didn't do that? I didn't ask you to be up there. He stood up, raised himself, and he was about to be hurt, but he did not return to the sin of all. And he slowly started walking down the aisle, straight to the door, the outdoor, 
Southern Women's Hall of Fame.
testimony everybody how God favored me in spite of my enemies 